Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from our Bespoke Post series. We have a, another box in, of course, today. And uh, as you can see, it is a fairly large box. Now this is the slash kit, and uh, maybe you have an idea on what we may be looking at, but let's go ahead and open the box and see what we've got. All right, everybody, so here we go. As you can see, this is a very simple kit. It is just one piece right here. And uh, you can see right here on the card exactly what it is. Uh, now, on this one, of course, again, it says slash, and it does have the standard little writing on the back of the card. It says, this blade will always make the cut. And then, of course, it does give you a bit of a description and a story about the blade itself. Uh, now, the next thing we'll look at here, we've got, of course, the blade. It has a uh, canvas sheath, which feels like it has some padding to it. And uh, this is by Bare Bones. Uh, as you can see on the back, it does have a very nice belt clip. And then you also have this kind of leather strap right here. Uh, not quite sure exactly what that's for offhand, but uh, I'm sure maybe they can uh, give us an idea. Uh, of course, we have our little booklet here. This would be maybe our warranty and stuff. And then, uh, so now we've got the snap here with a leather um, type of uh, type of keeper. Um, a nice wood. I'm not sure if it said. It didn't say what kind of wood this is. It's very nice. Uh, it's smooth, and uh, you can see it does have two rivets there. Uh, they are a hex head rivet. Um, that screws together. You can see there is a finger groove at the front to kind of help lock it into your hand and it is rather comfortable. It's thinner than I expected, um, especially up and down, but with the shape of it and everything, it makes it, makes it nice. It feels like it locks into my hand rather well. And then as you can see as we take it out, it does have that kind of, kind of a a modeled kind of gun barrel uh, kind of look, sort of like uh, the old octagon barrels or something like that. And as you can see, this is, uh, it's not actually a straight blade. This is actually a kind of a concave kind of cupping to it, but it is fairly straight, which would make it really easy to sharpen as they say. And then of course the front of it is flat. So you don't have to go around curves too much or anything like that be very easy to run it across the stone or run it over top of a, uh, a grinder of some type. Uh, doesn't, yeah, it has, has a little bit of an edge, but it's not super sharp, at least not at the end here. Uh, now the main blade here does, does have a bit more of an edge. It's got a nice weight to it. Feels, feels pretty good. It's got definitely a good chopping motion. This would definitely be good. I mean, obviously this is a machete and uh, it is made for, for chopping and hacking. Uh, I would definitely be happy to take this with me out camping. Um, feels, feels very nice. I just want to see what it does. Will it? Oh yeah. Yep. All the way down the length of the blade, it was able to uh, to take the hair off. And uh, so nice and sharp here. Like I said, the end doesn't seem to be nearly as sharp. The end is a little bit thicker though. Um, this is tapered down more, as you can see. This is uh, mm, about 5 eighths of an inch across maybe, half inch, 5 eighths. Uh, whereas the end here is only maybe 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, in in uh, bevel right there, so it's much thicker. It chamfers down much faster, and so it doesn't have quite as good of a uh, uh, of a keen edge, I guess. Uh, it does have the of course hole at the back there for a lanyard of some type. The tang does go all the way through. Uh, it is shaped right along with the handle, so very nice. Uh, definitely. Definitely something I I appreciate. I think that is roughly yeah we're just we're going to be just under a quarter of an quarter of an inch, maybe about uh, three sixteenths of an inch thick in terms of thickness on uh, on the spine there for uh, the thickness of it all the way down uh, until it bevels off at the uh, at the end there. So uh, gives it lots of strength. 
Uh, feels good in my hand. I think uh, we're gonna need to try this out, see what it does. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try this one out. And um, as you can see, I put some uh, cord on here. Obviously, this is pretty big, but uh, that's because of how much I wanted to put on here and the way that I did it. Uh, there's actually 25 feet of paracord on here. But uh, let's see what we've got. Obviously, I've used this one in the past. I uh, will take this. I'm barely putting any pressure on this to do this too. This is this is with the weight on this and the way that it's got this forward design like that. This is just this is really nice. It's doing this. This wood is not really, really dry. Um, it was cut down maybe just to, within the last few months. Um, so it hasn't had a whole lot of time to dry that and the weather's been fairly, uh, fairly uh, either rainy or snowy or whatever. Um, so we got a clear day today, but, uh, but yeah, uh, nice. I will say that it, uh, this is probably one of my, one of my favorite um, uh, machete type uh, blades. Um, I really like this handle with the uh, with the finger uh, notch in the front there. It makes it very nice and comfortable uh, to swing. It does have that nice chopping motion, and it does. I mean, it's, it makes it more comfortable to hit towards the end compared to some of the others, where they have that rounded blade. Um, the rounded ones make me feel like I'm going to glance off a lot more. Where this one, it's like I'm I'm not worried if I hit the tip because. I mean, it'll just stick in there. Whereas if it was the other ones, they may glide off and come down. If they come down, they could come down at my leg or something like that, and that's a little dangerous. But uh, if you guys want to check this out, of course, you can go down there in the description below. There is going to be the link to the Bespoke Post site, as well as links to our social media. And uh, of course, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, as well as hit the subscribe buttons, either in the corners or down below if you haven't done so already. And make sure you ring that bell so you know when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, my name's Cougar. This has been another episode from the Bespoke Post series here on World of Me. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.